happy Tuesday. I am gonna try to vlog a little more today and um, read a little more today. I did read last night. I actually, I, <laughs> I set down Saving Six for a second and I picked up, I can't remember the name of it. I'll put a picture right here, but a hockey romance that I saw on Instagram and it's like silly and quirky I'm like 20% of the way through I read like 80 pages last night because it's just so easy to get through and it's just like kind of a silly little romance so I just needed something like a quick palate cleanser I think I don't know I try not to get into a reading rut so I'm gonna go into work now um, it's a little bit after 8 30 we'll see where the day takes me Happy Wednesday. I don't have a lot going on right now. I'm just working from home today, but I did want to just update you on how far I got into my current read, which is The Pucker Next Door. It's a hockey romance. They're getting creative. They're getting creative. This is honestly exactly what I needed. I felt myself getting into a reading slump and I just needed a KU quick romance. I'm already 57% of the way through this and honestly, I'm hoping to finish it tonight. Is it written well? No. <laughs> Is it immature? Yeah, but it's fun. It's a college hockey romance, but it ain't L. Kennedy, but it'll do. And I think it's gonna help me kind of just cleanse and reset before picking up probably what I'm about to show you. So I got a book mail today. I got an Amazon pre-order in the mail. I got Powerful by Lauren Roberts. It's the novella for Peyton's friend, Adina. So it's Adina's story. When I opened this, I was like, um, did I get pranked? Look at how, just wait. So this is Powerless. Look at how tiny she is. Powerless honestly was a five star and probably one of my favorite books of the year. I'm assuming it will be even at the end of the year. I loved this so much. And so I'm so excited for this and the second book to come out. And I'm thinking once I have my bookshelves in my office, this will have a display shelf. <laughs> so I think it'll be cute with the little book. But I opened it and I was like, did I know it was going to be tiny? Happy Thursday. I have been working from home today again and um, I went to the library as you saw and returned some books and checked out some new ones so that's exciting but I did want to update on this book The Pucker Next Door. All I have to say about this is that the epilogue is from the point of view of a squirrel that the main character is named Nutty. <laughs> I think that explains the two star rating pretty well. The way that these two main characters meet, they're neighbors and 
the girl has a squirrel in her room and she goes over to the guy's house and recruits him to help her get the squirrel out. So at the end of the book, no one cares about spoilers for this, the squirrel comes back and the epilogue is from the point of view of that squirrel. I saw a review for this on Instagram and it made me wanna download it instantly and read it. And I'm like, was I led astray? I don't know. I feel like this is like what KU romances used to be like a couple years ago, but they, they're getting better and more popular authors are available on KU. But like, this is what I was reading when I first got KU a couple years ago. And it's fun, it's quirky, it's not great writing, awkward dialogue, but I flew through it and it kind of got me out of a reading slump because I'm excited to pick up something new. So, but yeah, it's fun. Reading's fun. Happy Friday, it's Friday, happy Friday. Oh my gosh, my hair is wild. I'm so excited for the weekend. I'm just over work and everything and we have some fun plans this weekend, so I'm just excited. I don't have much to like update you on. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't vlogged anything today. I did get Jimmy John's for lunch, that's exciting. I got to chapter three, um, page 30 in Powerful by Lauren Roberts last night. There's really not much to say yet, um, but it's fun to be back in this world. Yeah, I'm excited. It's only 200 pages, so I mean, I'm only 30 pages in, but I feel like that's a decent start. So um, I'm done with work here in like an hour and a half. So I think um, at 4.30, I'm going to go out back with my dog and just enjoy the sun. It is beautiful today. Okay, just a side note, not reading related at all, but is any other like non-Swifty obsessed with her new album? Like, I don't know what she puts in these songs, but like, I mean, I used to like her growing up. I really liked her until 1989 and then I kind of fell off. The Tortured Poets Department, I can't stop listening to it. Like, I I can't stop. I, li I literally can't stop and I'm not a Swifty. Help. I'm just straightening my hair right now, but I realized that I never said my thoughts on the Idea of You movie. So I thought I would do that while I straighten my hair. I read that book probably two years ago now. And I honestly thought it was just kind of like, okay. I don't even know what I rated it. Probably three or four stars. But I really liked the movie. It has Anne Hathaway and then like, this guy who's been doing a lot of book to movie adaptation movies, he was in Red, White, and Royal Blue. And I loved that movie too. And I thought that book was just mediocre, but I loved the movie. Amazon Prime is killing it with these uh, book to movie adaptations with romances. Like so good. Some people said it was boring. I don't think so. I think it was really cute. Like. The characters together are super duper cute. Um, I think it's definitely worth the watch. But yeah, that's my little two cents on the movie. 